So here it is, fully wired and ready to go. All right, so you got, I'm using the normally open contacts on the relays. All right, so this here is part three, the wiring, or right, the complete wiring. So you got two brown wires coming from my motor, okay? And these two brown wires goes to my capacitor, right? This is from the existing motor, ECM motor. It's not been used anymore, it called up right there, all right? So here is my the new motor. As you can see, there's a regular PSC motor, no longer ECM. And if you have not seen the previous um, parts of this video, go watch them. Perhaps you got to be a, prefer a preferred member, because preferred member is going to get it first. So yeah, so brown wires straight up to my capacitor. I got the black wire go to one set of my relay, and then I have the black wire from my power supply goes to the other set of my relay contacts, that's a relay contacts, um, normally open contacts. So one side goes to my motor, high speed black, black for high speed, and black, and the other side is coming from my power, toyed power supply, line one, goes into one set of the other set of the contacts, normally open. So whenever the contacts, contact is gonna be closed, those contacts closed, then it's gonna send the power into the motor, line one, into the motor. Now line two, this yellow wire I uh, connected to the white or line 2 from the motor that's it so it's ready to go ready to be tested um, this was the existing power plug connector for the ECM motor see that was in you like so right like so Getting right like so, boom. No longer been used. No longer ECM. Fully converted. All right, so here's the relay. It's wired up. And this relay is gonna be energized. I have one wire going to C. That's the black wire. Well, this one is not properly in there. I gotta fix that. And then I got the other one going to G, the green wire. Going to G, okay. Okay, so it's all in there. Like I said, C and G. It's my black wire and my green wire to my relay coil. Black and green. All right, so I got my relay mounted. That's my capacitor. Also got it mounted. So it's all ready to be fired up um, so those orange and yellow is so I can change it's where you can change your rotation so if the rotation rotation is not good then I'm gonna have to interchange the yellow with the orange hopefully I could do it while it's installed but I'm gonna go ahead now and fire it up Give it a, can give it a test. So the rotation we're looking for is this way with this scoop. Okay. Again, if you got questions, leave it in the leave it in the comment section. And uh, yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna turn the fan on. I'm gonna bypass the uh, the thermostat. And test this. So there you go. It's running. You see what sort of amperage draw. I'm getting before hams is the motor FLA 
3.1 good and rotation is good come on come on stop already perfect so what I'm gonna do right now just secure these wires right here together with a zip tie just to ensure that these can't get pulled up into the motor just gonna put some put a zip tie in here and secure it All right one zip tie right there and that's it again the full video this video is several parts three parts all together so uh, go ahead and uh, watch the other parts and if you're not seeing it as of right now it's probably because you're not a preferred member but um, you can also go ahead and I'm gonna leave a link to be uh, to, the, to becoming a preferred member in the description of this, this video as well in addition I'll leave, I'll leave the links to the other parts of this video this old full install video um, in the description as well Again, if you got questions leave it in the comment sections OEM ECM to permanent split capacitor conversion I'm out of here